Hello, and welcome to Catholic Crafty Kids. So this is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we are hearing in the Gospel of Mark about how Jesus calmed the storm. So as you can see, I have just a mess out here. <laughs> so I have actually a choice of two crafts for you, um, both having to do with um, floating and sinking in water. Uh, so what we could do, I'll just run through both really quick. So what we wanna do, um, the simpler craft is just to have a jar or a bottle with some water in it and you can put a little blue food coloring in there to simulate the ocean and then just to create a boat that will float on that so uh, what I have in my house is I had some cork so what you want to do is kind of cut it in half and maybe even in quarters so I ended up with um, just a little piece this big and then you'll want a toothpick or um, you could use a twist tie a stiff twist tie too for a, just to make create a little mast and then a bit of craft foam um, and I actually pulled these off of, I had a bunch of these little fans that didn't work anymore, so, um, and just create a little uh, sail out of that. And then hot glue that together, all right? And you'll get a little boat like this, which will float. Now, um, what you want though too with this boat is that you want it to survive the storm. You want it to turn itself right again when the storm is over, which is tough because once the boat flips, um, if the, the craft foam touches the water, the water tension will hold it down. So last bit is you wanna make a little keel on the bottom of that. So what I did to do that is you're looking for maybe a paper clip, okay? Or if you have some of these little cheap um, keychain bits, you just want a little bit of wire. So a, a paper clip is nice though because it's kind of already shaped. So if you kind of open it up and bend it until it snaps, and then you'll wanna take those little curly bits off the end um, just by bending back and forth so that you have a nice U shape. And I did two of them on a smaller um, on a smaller paper clip. You could do maybe one on a larger paper clip. That might work just fine too. So just kind of experiment with it a little bit and then just push those into the cork. Now, if you don't have cork, that's something that um, might be a problem. You could use just some styrofoam, um, packing styrofoam, um, and create your little boat out of that. That would work just fine. So then when you're done, now you want to fill your water up about halfway because the idea is here that you want to be able to tip this on its side if you choose. So drop your boat in and this is a canning jar so it's got a nice pretty good seal on it okay and then you can you can have a storm and your boat can kind of look like it's going to sink and then it will right itself again okay and this one is filled just enough that you could do this sideways as well so the kids could try um, having a sideways storm as well so that's kind of fun all right, now the other um, option we have here gets a little more science involved. So uh, if you want, before you get started with all of this, just find a couple of small containers and fill one with vegetable oil and one with water. What you're looking for is just, you know, go through your craft drawer and find all the little things that you, whatever little bits and bobs that you can find and drop them in both, um, both things, right, to see what happens. You'll notice that some things will float, some things will sink, some things will, um, now this is, again, from that fan that broke. It's a little plastic piece, and it floats in the water, but it, if I push it and get the air out of it, it actually sinks in the, the oil. Can you see that? So um, what you're looking for are uh, different things. Some that'll float in water, some that'll sink in water, and some that'll float in oil, and some that'll sink in oil, and just a combination of those things. So you can talk about um, the science of how oil is less dense than water oil will float on top of water and then you can think about all the densities of the little things that you're testing out there okay so again this is a bit of science god loves it when we use our minds and then you can create from that a storm bottle so you have you fill up the bottom with water and the top with oil and you'll notice that those are separated and i found a few things here there's one on the top i don't know if you can see it there's one thing that does float on everything and i think that's the well that's a piece of cork and then i think there's a little piece of wood in there as well and then i've got what i call flinkers things that are floating and sinking at the same time so i've got a, a plastic spool and a part of a bread tie and a bit of a straw and then at the bottom are my sinking things so pony beads work down there um, I've got a little bit of a where is it so the, some of these Mardi Gras just cut a little bit of Mardi Gras bead off so a bunch of those so what you can do with this is you can have you know as you read the story to your kids they can be oh making the storm happen right okay the storm happens with all the stuff and then they can watch and sit and watch it all um, watch all the things 
sort themselves back out. And if you want this to be a long-term craft, I would suggest hot gluing this top on just because you get less mess over time when you do that. So a couple of different choices for your craft for this week. Your float the boat and your uh, separator storm kind of a bottle here. So have fun with that. Have fun with the science and have fun with the faith. Have a great week.